This video will be going over the steps you should take if your access control panel isn't receiving a Wiegand output from your device. For these troubleshooting steps, whenever you try to authenticate on your reader, you'll want to check if any events were created in the monitoring window of BioConnect, as well as in your access control software. You'll first want to make sure that you have the correct card format selected for your device in BioConnect. On the device management page, Click the plus next to the device which isn't sending Wiegand outputs. Go to the Wiegand Details tab. In the Card Format drop-down menu, select the card type you will be using with the reader. If you change the card type, click Save. To ensure that the device will now be reading this format, go to the menu, Synchronize Devices, and then All Devices. Click OK. You will also need to make sure that the user whose card number isn't being sent has a valid card credential in BioConnect. Go to the user management page. Click on the plus next to the user whose card isn't sending. Go to the credentials tab. Ensure that the card number that you are trying to send to the panel is in this list. If it isn't, try clicking the sync button beside the search bar. For more information on syncing users, please watch our dashboard video. If the card number still doesn't show up, ensure that the credential has been added in your ACM. If it hasn't, make sure to sync again after adding it. If the card number is in this list and you still aren't getting an output, you'll want to take a look at your wiring. Go to the wiring page in your device's installation guide. For example, I'm using a BioEntry W2. Ensure that you have the right wires connected to your panel from your device. Make sure you are using the Wiegand out wires, not the Wiegand in wires. In my case, I'll be using the green, white, and black wires. For devices that have wires with connectors, make sure your wires are connected to the Wiegand out port, not the Wiegand in port. Also ensure that you have connected the wires to the panel properly. In my case, I'll connect the green wire to D0, the white wire to D1, and the black wire to ground. Ensure the wires are securely connected. If you still aren't getting an output sent, you'll want to check the voltage of the wires. Using a voltage meter on the DC setting, connect one of the leads to ground and the other to D0. The voltage should be between 4.4 and 5.6 volts. Now, switch the lead on D0 to D1. The voltage here should also be between 4.4 and 5.6 volts. The measurements for D0 and D1 do not need to be the same, but if either of these are out of this range, check that your device is powered correctly. For instructions on how to power your device, refer to your installation guide. If you have ensured that your device is powered correctly and you are still getting voltage readings outside this range, consider submitting an RMA for your device. To submit an RMA, go to support.bioconnect.com and click the Submit Request link in the top right corner. If you are getting readings within this range, continue watching. Try connecting the wires to a different Wiegand port on your panel. If this doesn't help and you are using a cable run, remove it and connect the wires from the back of the device directly. Attempt to authenticate and check the monitoring page in your access control software to see if any events are created. If you still aren't getting an output, Make sure that your panel is configured to receive the card type that you are using. Refer to your panel's configuration documents. Finally, you'll want to try wrapping your wires around a ferrite core. A ferrite core was included in your reader's box. Wrap the wires around the core twice and reconnect them to the panel. This will eliminate any electromagnetic interference that may be blocking a signal. If you still aren't getting an output, please visit our support site at support.bioconnect.com and submit a request by clicking on the link in the top right corner. For more help, please visit support.bioconnect.com and check out our other videos.